In the past two weeks, federal agencies have shot and killed more than a thousand birds along the Columbia River. And today, animal rights groups stepped up their fight to stop it. KGW's environmental reporter Keely Chalmers talked to those federal agencies. They say they're doing what's necessary to save salmon. Keely? That's right, Joe and Tracy. They claim the double crested cormorants are eating about 2 million salmon every year near the mouth of the Columbia River. But animal rights groups say studies have shown that killing the birds really does nothing to help protect the threatened fish. Save the Outside the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in Northeast Portland, save the birds, save the fish. Protesters made it clear they want an end to the killing of double crested cormorants near the mouth of the Columbia River. These are beautiful birds of nature and they will be decimating the population and I just, I'm upset, you know. The culling started last year. So far, more than 4,500 birds have been killed. This video shot by Oregon Field Guide shows government workers in boats shooting cormorants with shotguns last year, and they're doing it again. We'll be shooting them out of the air um, as the adults fly over the water, the open water, and then we will oil the eggs in the nests. NOAA Fishery says reducing the cormorant colony is the best way to protect baby salmon swimming past East Sand Island, where about 30,000 of the birds are nesting. They've made it through the dams, uh, they've dodged predators on their way down, and it doesn't make sense to us to watch them get gobbled up when they're a few miles from the ocean. Uh, what we see is that the agencies are just hell-bent on, on killing birds. But some animal rights groups say killing the birds is really not helping salmon populations at all. They say even a study done by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service concluded the culling of cormorants would not benefit the salmon, although improving passage through the dams would. These agencies are scapegoating these birds. They're killing them unnecessarily. They're not benefiting salmon. Now, federal agencies plan to kill more than 10,000 cormorants over a four-year period. Several groups are suing those federal agencies to keep that from happening. Back to you. Thank you, Keely.